David Lee Abbott, nicknamed Tank, is the personification of old-school mixed martial arts of the 90s. Rather even fights without rules, as they were back then. Tank did not possess the technique, but possessed a cannon hit, tremendous speed for his size, and innate aggression. So he practically never had a boring fight. In college, this guy fought at a high level and became All-American in the junior division, which meant he was in the top eight wrestlers in his U.S. division. Then he coached boxing for a while, and having tempered in more than 200 street fights, and his style was formed. He once worked as a salesman in a liquor store and beat up a very smart shopper, as Abbott said. During the trial, the judge told him, Mr. Abbott, you are a maniac. I'm surprised you haven't killed anyone yet. My name's Tank Abbott. I'm going to be the most athletic person that's ever stepped into the octagon. That, coupled with my experience, will definitely make me the UFC 6 champ. In 95, Abbott, a bounty hunter, entered the mixed martial arts tournament. It was his debut. In the first fight, Tank faced John Matua, who weighed over 180 kilograms. The Tank immediately began to throw heavy punches, giving the enemy no chance of success. Matua's taking some vicious shots to the head. That's it. A brutal knockout. Abbott parodied his opponent's convulsions, which earned him the status of a bad guy with unsportsmanlike behavior. Look at the replay, our, our thoughts are with John Matua right now. Dr. Richard Istrigo, Leon Tabb. There are two emergencies for almost 75 In the second round, Paul Varlands is facing a much more serious opponent. Paul fought Igor Vokanchin and Marco Ruas. Tank decides to recall his wrestling roots. Barlands had only rudimentary wrestling skills and could not resist lying on his back. Therefore, he only received a brutal beating from Abbott. Tank pressed the head of the enemy with his knee and simply mocked him. The stoppage of the fight was not a long time coming. Another destruction from Tank. Straight in. <laughs> uh, he said earlier in his little preview thing, he likes to take people down and tickle them. I just wanted to tickle his brain a little bit. In the next fight, Tank faced a completely different rival. Not a street fighter, but an elite athlete with many titles and frantic motivation to win. Oleg Taktarov made his U.S. debut at the last tournament, but before that, he had already fought according to mixed rules. In that tournament, he won the first fight, but then lost to Dan Severin due to a cut. Here into the back of the head. At this turn, Oleg was extremely motivated to become a champion. Oleg tries to get a takedown, but Tank is on top. However, a painter like Taktarov just needs that. The fight returns to the stance. Oleg passes heavy punches to the body. Tank tosses him like a doll. In the standing position, Taktarov is doing worse. But he did not miss any heavy punches and is still on his feet. Oleg is not at all afraid to hit to death in the stance and starts hitting oncoming blows. Good job in the hockey clinch. Guillotine choke in a standing position. But Abbott is out of danger. The tank strikes well mounted, but Oleg defends himself confidently. Both fighters were seriously exhausted. Several attempts at a submission from Taktarov, and the fight turns into stance again. Oleg attacks and throws a series of good punches, 
but Tank immediately responds because he has an advantage in power and punching force. This is the entertainment of old school fights. If a fighter lost in technique, he could still win due to multiple techniques, which are now prohibited. Again, Oleg drags Tank to the ground, but Abbott, having rested, turns on his ground and pound again, and Taktarov is doing badly. Here is an interesting trick, namely the fish hook, which is now prohibited. Finally, the referee's patience is over, and he raises the fighters into a standing position. The tank attacks again, and again with clinches. Finally, Oleg Taktarov gets down to the fight. Apparently, to start, he had to miss a couple punches. But with the last hit of strength, he performs a rear naked choke. After such a bright start, Tank loses in the finals of its first tournament in mixed martial arts. Tank was functionally better prepared for Oleg, but this did not help him. This is how the world of mixed martial arts got acquainted with David Lee Tank Abbott. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button as well as leave your comments and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the ring as soon as possible.